this question is a normal level question. Most of the students can appear this question. But, but, the tilting of the mirror elevate the beauty of question to an advanced level. Hi dear JE Advanced Aspirants, welcome back to the JEE Advanced PYQ Question Discussion Series. Today, we have an interesting question from the chapter Ray Optics. This question consists of so many concepts from the Ray, chapter Ray Optics. See, uh, let us read the question. A small object is placed at 50 cm to the left of a thin convex lens of focal length 30 cm. A convex spherical mirror of radius of curvature 100 cm is placed to the right side of the right of the lens at a distance of 50 cm. The mirror is tilted such that the axis of the mirror is at an angle of 30 degree with the axis of the lens shown in figure. So this is the principal axis of the convex mirror which is at an angle of 30 degree with the principal axis of the convex lens. If the origin of the coordinate system is taken to be at the center of the lens, the coordinates in centimeter the, of the point x, y at which the image is formed are. So we want to calculate, we want to find out the position, the location of the image, the coordinate of the image produced by the system. See, the object is placed, the real object is placed 50 centimeter from the convex lens and the convex lens will produce an image of that particular object. And that image distance, if that image distance is more than that of 50 centimeter, then that image will act as a virtual object for the convex mirror. If the image distance is more than that of 50 centimeter, this distance is 50, the separation between lens and mirror is 50. If the image distance is less than that of 50 centimeter, then image will uh, uh, form somewhere over here in between lens and mirror and it will act as a real object for the convex mirror. And the final image is produced by this convex mirror. So first of all, we have to calculate the position of the image produced by this convex lens. So object distance is 50, focal length is 30 and it is convex lens of so focal length is positive. So 1 by 30 is equal to 1 by V minus object distance is negative minus of minus plus 50. So taking this 1 by 50 to the side, 1 by 30 minus 1 by 50 is equal to 1 by V by cross multiplying 50 minus 30 is 20 divided by 30 into 50 that is 1500 and v is equal to 1500 divided by 20 0 0 the cancel 150 by 2 that is 75 centimeter this answer is positive so the image is formed which means image is formed somewhere over here and the image distance is 75 centimeter and the separation between lens and mirror is 50 so the image is formed behind the convex mirror at a distance of 25 centimeter so the light is supposed to meet at this point if the mirror was not here. So the light rays is only appears to meet at this point. Before the light ray get me, before the light ray meet at this point, the light ray get reflected from this convex mirror. So that is why the light ray is only appears to meet at this point. Appears to meet at this point. And this image will now this image will act as a virtual object for the convex mirror. So the object distance for the convex mirror is 25. Okay. Now to move forward, we have to consider uh, the mirror is not T, mirror is straight. That means the principal axis uh, of the mirror and the lens is common if the mirror is not T. So we have to consider, to move forward, we have to consider the mirror is placed like this. And the virtual object is, virtual object is at a, is at a distance of 25 centimeter from the convex mirror. See. This is the direction of incident light rays and the measurement of uh, all the measurement should be taken from the polar optic center and the object distance have to measure like this manner and the direction of measurement is same as the direction of incident ray and this object distance is taken as positive because of it is a virtual object and the image produced by this convex mirror 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v and the focal length of the focal length of the mirror is the radius of curvature is 100 centimeters so that is why focal length is 50 centimeter and it is convex focal length is positive 1 by 50 is equal to 1 by u is 25 positive so 25 plus 1 by v and 1 by 50 minus 1 by 25 is equal to 1 by v and this is equal to v is equal to uh, 50 divided by minus 1 and v is equal to minus 50. Here you can multiple with the 2 by 2 to make denominators common. 
and 1 minus 2 that is minus 1, minus 1 divided by 50, denominator is common, that is 50 divided by minus 1, so minus 50 is the image distance, minus 50 is the image distance. So image distance is negative, the direction of measurement of image distance is uh, opposite to the direction of incident ray, which means image is formed somewhere over here, 50 centimeter, I guess, this is the image distance 50 centimeter. The separation between lens and mirror is 50. So that is why image is formed. The final image is formed. Image formed by the convex mirror. Final image is just in front of the lens. If the mirror uh, is placed like this, but actually in this question, mirror is tilted by an angle of 30 degrees. This is the point. See, if the mirror is not tilted, this question is a normal level question. Most of the students can appear this question. But, but the tilting of the mirror elevate the beauty of question to an advanced level. See, if the mirror is tilted by an angle of 30 degree, the reflected light ray or the position of the image is also tilted by an angle of 2 theta. By an angle of 2 theta. How? At this point, at this point, you can consider it as a plane mirror. If the plane mirror is tilted by an angle of theta, the image will also tilt by an angle of 2 theta. It is a concept of plane mirror that we are already uh, discussed in the session of plane mirror. And this is the initial position of the image. This is 50 centimeter. If the mirror is tilted by an angle of 30 degree, the image will also tilt by an angle of 2 theta, that is 60 degree. So this is the position of the image and this angle will be 60 degree. This is origin and this will be the x coordinate of the image. So this distance will be 50 minus x. And this distance will be the y coordinate of the image. So from this triangle, you can calculate the value of x. See, from that triangle, uh, cos 60 is equal to, cos 60 is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse actually? Hypotenuse is actually the image distance. The distance between the position of the image and the pole is called the image distance. Here it is 50 centimeter. By tilting this image, position of the image to the uh, uh, second position, by tilting this, this 50 centimeter is now is the hypotenuse of this triangle. This 50 centimeter, 50 centimeter is the hypotenuse of this. The triangle, the, the image distance, the distance between the position of the image and the pole. Right? This is 50 centimeter. So from that triangle, hypotenuse 50, adjacent is 50 minus x. So cos 60 is equal to adjacent that is 50 minus x divided by hypotenuse that is 50. And cos 60 is 1 by 2 as we know. 1 by 2 is equal to 50 minus x divided by 50. 250 get cancelled, we get 25. So 25 is equal to 50 minus x or x is equal to 50 minus 25. That is 25 centimeter. X coordinate is 25 centimeter. Now y coordinate, we can use sine of theta, sine of 60. Sine of 60 is equal to opposite side. Opposite side is the height of the object. Height of the uh, uh, position of the object from above the principal axis. And the origin of the coordinate system is considered to be the optic center of the lens. So this is 0, 0 and this will be the x coordinate and this will be the y coordinate and this height you can calculate by using sine of 60. Sine of 60 is equal to opposite side. Sine of 60 is equal to opposite side is y and uh, hypotenuse is 50. 50. Sine 60 is root 3 by 2 that is equal to y divided by 50. 2 and 50 get cancelled, we will get 25. So, 25 root 3 is equal to y. 25 root 3 is equal to y. So, the position of position of the coordinate of the image x, comma y is equal to x coordinate is 25 25 centimeter, comma y coordinate is y coordinate is 25 root 3, 25 root 3, 25. This is the final answer of the question. So here we have option 25 comma 25 root 3. That is option C is the right answer.
So that's it. Thank you so much. This is JB from Asylum Learning. All the very best. Bye and see you again.